your thing, baby boy. What's going on? It's your boy, T Mark, straight out the Bronx. Sound you, sound you section of the Bronx, sound the houses. Uh, the boys, I'm here with them, you know, ready and very excited for this podcast. Appreciate let's see, let's see. Seen a couple <coughs> people I know on here already, so I'm happy to be a part of that. Yeah, and uh, it's your boy Kev. Um, I was just seeing the jewelry was recording. Nah, man, we added this out here. So fucking go. That's it. My man Kev. Oh, oh, all right. Jennings, beloved. Yo. What's today? Thursday? Thursday. (laughs) Thursday. My boy. Uh, Great night for a conversation. We're going to get into some sneaker culture. Uh, the business of basketball, and um, we'll see where the conversation takes us. Copy. Amen. Copy, copy, copy. Copy. All right, so first off, we're going to start off talking about, I don't know if you heard about Bruce Bowen recently. What happened to Bruce Bowen? He, no. was, a, he was an analyst with the Clippers. Okay. And he recently said some comments uh, in regards to Kawhi Leonard. This is Bruce Bowen from the Spurs. Right. Yeah. Bruce Bowen, all right. And he's trying to make sure. Trying to get Bruce Bowen, yeah. Okay. And now he's an analyst, well, was an analyst uh, with the Clippers. The reason why he's not no more, they're saying that he's not an analyst. He's not. They say he got fired. Uh, well, they're not renewing the contract. Basically, Okay. Yeah. That's why I fired. had negative right. words. He but, had uh, some uh, negative comments. I think I did. I think I did see when he was talking about he was saying like how something about they was babying him or something like that. Yeah, and saying that um, Pop is it, a great coach and like, that his injury like, uh, his injury wasn't that severe yeah. that he should have came back. So apparently, they're saying that Kawhi Leonard wants to go to LA, either the Lakers or, or the, the Clippers. Clippers next year. Okay. So the Clippers franchise go ahead and doesn't renew. Okay, 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 okay. But so, what I, are your I, thoughts on that? A, I don't see him going to the Clippers. Like, no. nah. Well, what's the point of going backwards? Like, the Clippers kind of like gutted that team out. So once they gutted that team out, it's like they start all over. I mean, if he just wants to be in LA to play basketball, then maybe. But I think he's a person that wants to compete and win. So I wouldn't see him going to the Clippers. Honestly, you see that, Jennings? What are your thoughts on that? <clears throat> I mean, Bruce Brown, like you've been in the league over twenty years, you understand how the politics work. This yeah. is a player's league. Yeah. The players run the league. You see, Toronto just hired his one of his closest friends to be on the uh, coaching staff. You know better, Bruce. I get it. You love Pop, but Pop isn't paying you anymore. You should you should commentate on live action. Yeah. Okay, so you know, you have personal job. feelings. Yeah, that was a personal. Stay feeling. out of your feelings. There's no money yeah. there. It was, that was very personal, man. Hey, how you feel about that? I mean, <clears throat> it's politics, bro. At the end of the day, they want the Clippers want Kawhi. Of course, they want to get rid of Bruce Bowen because they feel like that's money. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's money. They're trying to butter him up, so. He's trying to show him in advance, like, hey, listen, we gonna do what you want. You so, so if he doesn't go to the Clippers, <laughs> they look stupid. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> simple, right? Simple. <laughs> things. It's simple, like, but that goes to show you that they, that these organizations are just showing that niggas is expendable. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Oh, he gets, he gets a job somewhere. That's Bruce Bowman. Yeah, 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 like some some of the players players is like, players is like that too. Exactly. Like, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, like you you ain't got that stamp. I don't know, man. They're going to ship you. You're going to end up like Isaiah Gabby, Thomas and all yo, that, man. Yo, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, man. End up like IT. Literally, IT. Talking they, crazy. They, 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 Danny Ainge is the devil. Look at, look at that Mormon. I ain't going to lie to you, but he didn't help the situation with his yeah. mouth, man. Yo, bro, you you think, humble yourself. You think him saying. he was already humble, though. Wait, you think him saying Boston got to bring out the Brinks truck, like, really, like. Like, he was saying, like, yo, 100 mil plus. Like he yeah, was he deserved it. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with put, you. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Pause, pause, pause. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. The way the NBA has been giving out contracts, of course. Okay. But 
Matthew Della Vadova's getting let's, 40. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. He's not a person that is gonna be on a, a, a team that's gonna compete besides Boston. I think Boston was just a good fit for him. Yeah, it was. It was a good fit for him. Because you seen him in Cleveland when they played Golden State, he couldn't he get was a shot. Still, he was still hurt. Yeah, he suited up though. He was still hurt. There's no excuses. So he, he, yeah, well, how he, many? He, well, listen, my he thing is, play. he was cleared to play. He was oh, no, you, play. no, 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 no. I, 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 I need to dispute that. I need to dispute that. I need to dispute that. He really couldn't, like, all right. Niggas say on he was playing by on a, the Spurs, doctor. But, but this is what I'm saying, right? Think about Golden State. Think about they, they start on five or whatever five they put in. Isaiah Thomas scores a lot off pick and roll action. Who's he scoring on? Like this, the switch is, is Clay Thompson. The switch is gonna be KD. The switch is gonna be Draymond. Switch like <laughs> e, uh, Iguodala. Like you feel me? Like Livingston he's not gonna be able to, Sean Livingston. No. Like the the weakest person is gonna be Steph, and he would have to break Steph down one on one. And Isaiah Thomas don't have that type of game. Now nah, he could do that. He, he could get good, good, but They help out. They got help defense. defense. They got help defense. Well. That's the thing. Like they gonna say, yo, force him this way. Well, uh, to Draymond. All the throw highlights and shit. shit that they show, they don't show that though. That how he get to where he get. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like it looked like he was like. He get in though. It looked like he, he was, was twelve. And, it was like he was twelve years old playing the unlimited. <laughs> like it looked that bad. You could pull it up. Yeah, right, man. Yo, yo it yo. looked crazy when crazy. they hit. <laughs> Not at all. No, no, I'm no, saying when Cleveland played yeah, Golden yeah, State, yeah, it looked Not, but he was hurt. He was yeah, the fuck up. He was still hurt. Yo, he I was playing the play. Now, don't you stop it. I got it. I got it. That man dropped 30 in a year, bro. I got it. I got it. I got it. I feel like I feel like I feel like I feel like Boston was a great fit for him. So you think Denver he ain't gonna do nothing? See, he might play well in Denver because they don't have a, a superstar. They don't play like the way Denver plays. They're very scrappy. But my thing is, I don't think he's gonna start over there. Who started? Uh, the kid that started. Uh, oh, yeah. Murray, the right? North, North Carolina dude, right? I, I, North Carolina. I, 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 and well, I, think they, I think they just now nah, he gonna be he gonna, I think, he gonna well, start. Isaiah Thomas, Thomas gonna start. You, twenty a game he gonna get. He should get twenty a game. Yeah, he could, he could, he could get that. Boston, no, so. But he has to want to accept that role. He does because even in LA he's like I'm not coming off the bench. He don't he, like that. He, the way it. he's thinking, no, he, he got he's the right off to say that, injury, that though, bro. <laughs> but he's coming off an injury that kind of exploded. And he injures a crook. Yeah, that shit. I know. I got. I gotta unpack the whole clearing shit. Okay. These doctors work for the organizations. After they traded IT, the Celtics fired the entire medical staff. Yeah. I'm from Boston. That staff was on payroll bad. since I was a kid. Yeah, bad staff though, because so the staff. So they know they did something wrong. Kyrie. Even with Kyrie, his injury, he could have been back by the playoffs. So you mentioned something interesting. So yeah, that was that, that was the swap. That was the swap. They love Kyrie in Boston. I'm biased because that's my that's my boy. Like, so I gotta like, we gotta ask you. I the people need to know. Do you is he staying? Who, Kyle? Yeah. No. <laughs> He's not coming to New York. <laughs> ah, shit! I don't give a fuck. Yo, nigga asked stupid. Yo, what's wrong? Why not? Nah, because he's smart. Want Kyrie. I'm gonna be honest you with you. Even right when they asked, Bronx 12 asked Kimbo, is there any chance? Oh. He said, no. no I want to this shit, yo, let, let's be honest with you. Bro. What about Brooklyn? Let's, let's be York honest with you. Let, let him unpack. Let, let, let's be honest with you. Let him let him York is a city. What's the kid? Clay Anthony? Oh, what's the what's Anthony. Clay Anthony. Clay, Clay Anthony. Yeah, Hurley, yeah. Hurley, whatever. Yeah. The dude that got right? shot. The yeah. dude that got shot. Yeah. Hole in the wall spot. Two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. New York is that city where you could go get in trouble for a fucking morning. And I have a problem. You went here. Nah, he's a partier. Like, I'm not going to open up the can of worms. Uh, about his business, but he's a person. He's a rock star. I'm not going to open up the can of worms about his business, but he's a person that parties. Like heavy, like, he's, he's, like, like, he's, like he's a partier. Like he's it's like, not something. He works hard. So he's he not gonna be in the crib all day because he's been in cities where it's boring as shit. Mm. Cleveland, boring as shit. Yeah. The, the city clothes are yeah, like but Boston just has turned. Like, like, Boston be turned. Not really. Yeah, but it's more bars. Like it's a bar thing. It's not like it ain't New York. It ain't New York. That's a fact. It ain't New York. Maybe Miami. 
He might go to Miami. He got, oh, he got oh. a crib out there. He got a crib out there. Okay, Maybe so, Miami. So, but I don't see him coming to me. So do you? So you think one of the reasons why? Well, I personally think he would have come to uh, New York. What if Jimmy Butler came to? That's a mean back Still not enough, man. New York is well, Vegas well, and the other dude they just got knocked. Bro. The Knicks are being the playoffs, but that's it. I just don't think they. I just. I'm gonna be honest. Right with you. If he stays at Boston, bro, they really can dominate the East for a while. Now LeBron is gone. They can cool. dominate the East. What's their competition? Now LeBron Sixers? is gone. Who? Cool. Yeah. Sixers and um. Yeah, but you gotta think, bro. Like Milwaukee, maybe. Nah, hell no. They're, Milwaukee. Like, like what's the names? Nah, Milwaukee. I ain't gonna lie to you. They they gotta get a half call offense. Like, they gotta get a real point guard. Like all they do is like try run. To run and man. they cut Brandon Jennings. That's crazy. He's going to freaking Russia. That's yeah, crazy. Fuck that, that money, bro. Yeah, but I, but I thought he was. I thought he was like. Yeah, yeah, he's nice, but what has he done not, in the past five years? Bro? Well, he was hurt though. He came back. But what opportunities he had? Really? Like I still think he could hoop. He yo. had. He's I, young. I mean, my thing is he like no he did a But what I'm saying, he did. He had a ten year. He had a ten day contract. Yeah, yeah. Ten day contract, yeah. right? and he killed. They yeah, built, then right. they signed him for the rest of the season. For the playoffs but, as well. but he's good for that though, because he's he. Uh, if Jay Kidd was still a coach, he would have played a lot more. Exactly. And he didn't play that much. Because nigga, he played when Jay Kidd was early. Yeah. Jay Kidd know what type of yeah. player he's like, like he's a like, goat. He like, he'll go get a bucket. He's, he's a bad bad water type. He'll go get a bucket. Yeah, Ben Gordon was so good. What the fuck happened to Ben Gordon? He went to the Pistons just like Jenny. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ben, ben Gordon, Gordon is tough, though. But man. Ben Gordon was tough. Yeah, why? Tough. What, he got black ball? Nah, he went to the Pistons. Everybody falls off. Jennings fell off in the Pistons. Last time I heard of him, he was doing some wild like stuff. like the Knicks. I heard something. 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 The Pistons is like the Knicks. Like the Knicks. Went in there, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The Knicks is just... The Knicks, not, the Knicks got a black out. Like if you, if you had, I feel like if you had a name in the league and you go to the Knicks, your career is done. You know what? And you know what's crazy? Though? You need the Knicks. Everything changes. It'd be so crazy. Now you get the bag. It'd be so crazy because like, like Knicks, I could watch a Knicks game and I probably could root for them. Like even with Pozingas, like yeah, this year yeah. he's playing well, made the All Star game. But I just don't like Knicks fans, man. Like Knicks fans. They don't know how to act. Yo, I could go to a Knicks yeah, game. Shaq ain't here. I, I could go to a Knicks game, right? And the fans would be booing the Knicks. That's the only place, <laughs> the only city I seen that. I'm tired. That's a real shit. Bro, I never seen that in another city. Yankee Stadium looking like Chip they got. You still booing? Yeah, but look, I, I go, I could go to Philly. Like when they was bad. Yeah. And they cheering through the whole game. They, they down was, twenty. They was giving them tickets. They down $20. twenty. It was a whole bunch of broke dudes in them games. A lot of just at the end of the game. Listen. Two dollar tickets, bro. All right, so tickets. my thing is, are you truly a fan or are you just well, I don't know. No, no, not, not you. No. Just, no, not you. Just in general. Like you see so many corporate people okay. there. You see so many tourist people there. But like the true Knicks fans, I they see. they just following the crowd, born what? with the people that really that is not into it. Listen, that's classic New Yorkers for you. That's a fact. Bad and word. that's what he said. That's Bad what he that's, 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 that's my thing is, is it's just like the worst. My yeah. thing is they like even Paul Zingas when he got drafted, they booed him. Yeah. Oh, and then they, they, they booed him. Jersey sold out. They booed yeah. him. Then his Jersey, Jersey lit. All right, Jeremy. No, no, I'm just saying. No, no, but look. They no, no, but look. They love Let's, Jeremy. Let's hold on, but, but look. They love this is this is what I'm about to say. When Jeremy Lin started playing good, New York, right? they put it, they Everybody. they put it on steroids. steroids. Like he had his own yeah. burger and restaurants and all that. That's all I'm saying. So Kyrie come over here, he'll be yeah, a but god. He, if he plays bad, then what? He won't crucified. go. No, I'm, I'm he's not a saying. Type player, yeah, player, yeah, yeah, but yeah, my thing is, crucified. if they losing, that yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think the money's gonna matter. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be paid. I mean, yeah, I'm like going to be bad anyway. Sneakers, sneakers will be bad. You also got to understand that. Like, hey, it's a bigger market. Already, so it's a bigger market. Like, how it's you a supposed bigger market. Feel playing but me knowing him, million. he's a competitor. Like, Ain't enough money. Even with Kimba. Kimba's a competitor. Like, my thing is... Kimba do better in New York than Kimba. Kimba is just comfortable in Charlotte. Family's out there. He's mm -hmm. been there since he's living that sub suburban life. Yeah, like he's also, comfortable. He's a chill. So, person. but even for him to even I leave, like, I, I don't yeah. see him leaving neither because I, I feel like he's just if he leaves, it's gonna be on the organization. It's not gonna be him one leave. 
Unless yeah, they, they do bad by him. If they do bad by him, maybe, but, but I feel like... But they, also got, to, but they, they also got to surround him with some pieces, man, because... But who? Nobody yo, wants to go to yo, yo, Charlotte, that's not even that. A, nobody wants to go to Charlotte. B, they got so many bad contracts. Like, they, they was putting uh, Kimba out on the market just to get rid of other people's contracts. That Batum dude. Like, Batum, oh, yeah. shit. Batum, 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 Batum was a bad contract. Man, so, what, what they going to get Kimba? The Batum got 120. But they're not going to give Kimba the 200 and something. They're not going to give him a max deal. They're going to try to slay him. He got to make, make first, first I'm team. I'm going to be man. honest with you. When I, His resume is pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm all star. And... And he's oh, leading the franchise and scoring. damn near everything. But he, he can't get that 219, though. Nah, he's not going to get 219. He got to get at least 150. Now he's going to get more than 150. No, he got to get 150. He has to get a, Yo, they have a lot of bad contracts. Marvin Williams. Oh, shit. 80 mil, right? Yeah, they got a lot of bad contracts. Nobody want to pay this. They're doing next shit. They got a lot of bad. Nigga, Marvin Williams is like one. Like, he's he's getting old. They gave him 80. <laughs> All right, we go. Got rid of Dwight, but not nah, Dwight. Yeah, but sure. even Dwight, his contract. Don't they got Moscow now too? With that contract? I don't, I don't know. know. They definitely got Moscow. They took that oh, deal just to get rid of another contract. We are gonna switch things up a little bit. We are gonna talk about something that uh, we actually, I actually spoke to Drew about earlier, okay. uh, about DeRozan. Oh yeah, uh, what you said. Recently, uh, on ESPN, DeRozan, uh, Paul Pierce. <laughs> Kevin Love, I think somebody else, it was an article that came out that he did on, you know, kind of like players, you know, they were like, what was he said? Depression. Oh. And, so um, he's depressed? No, no. Yeah. Oh, dealing with mental, mental illness issues. You want to say oh, yes. Yeah, because, yeah. well, yeah, uh, like Chris um, Paul Pierce said he went through it. Okay, uh, is Kevin this Love. like sports wise or this is just it, like it's just more, basketball player, but a lot of people going through the same thing. No, I'm saying is this something that they knew about themselves younger or it's like exactly. even that's a like uh oh uh, during like the NBA career, like they started I think it's more during the like time. somebody like Antoine Walker, a hundred million and I go broke, I'm gonna be depressed too. No, man. I I, like, I think me? I think it's more <laughs> like I'm gonna oh, be sick. I, got, I actually like, got something for I, that. I might too. kill myself. <laughs> That was on NBA Live '99. I might kill myself. <laughs> but also, Bye. you might not experience like depression and stuff like that. You know, growing up as a kid, but okay. you also gotta understand. Well, it could be that undiagnosed too. Maybe, yeah. they, maybe they're coming from the point of view of now that I've made it. You know, uh, I could feel that in a sense that I'm alone. Okay. You know, the pressure of. <laughs> always competing at a high level, yeah. you know, and some nights, you know, you're not able to compete at those high levels. I mean, you know? I feel like you should just... But, but like, before you... Uh, like, you got to keep it grassroots, man. You got to keep, like, grassroots. Like, why did you start playing basketball? And you love the game. You have fun with it. Like, you got to... Like, the pressure is going to come, but you can't let all of that outside noise... Yeah, yeah, the, that that hit home because, and I was, we piggybacked off Drew's comment earlier. Um, when you're the most successful person in your family, yeah. coming from the inner city, most of these ball players come from the hood. We don't come from generational wealth. Yeah, you're the facts. first entryway facts. to financial stability. Facts. You're the one that's pretty much taking care of an entire village. Okay. So I think when you have that, yeah, based yeah, on being sure. a public figure, some people mentally and emotionally, they can cave under that pressure. Yeah. But let me comment on that. Your family up with jobs mm -hmm. where they don't have to pay back off your wealth forever. Mm -hmm. Like family's given the friends you pick. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can't decide and you can't choose your family. Yeah. But family will take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. So my thing is like that first, like I, right, I'm in the league. I get that good contract. Hell, I'm gonna give y'all that that first bit of money. Y'all blow that. I right, might do it again, but it's gonna come to a point where it's like, you know what? You gotta smarten up because mm -hmm. now you enable me. Yeah. Now it's more like a crutch where they relying on you mm -hmm. instead of, yo, know, you know what? 
let me put them in a situation where they can make their money. Yeah. Open up a store. Like, what you do? Like, oh, all right, you like doing hair? Let's do a hair salon. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, you got to find ways and find niches because at the end of the day, no money lasts forever. And you like, don't want nobody living off of you for 20 years. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Like, that's why I love LeBron, bro. Mm-hmm. LeBron put people in positions to make money. They got work. No, go to school, get your degree for this, nigga. You're going to be my agent. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Shit like that. Like, yeah. that's how you keep money in the circle, bro. Yeah. Instead of just always handing, handing, yeah. handing. So, I, I want to leave you, uh, so DeRosa, this is what he, uh, this was his comment. Pe- people say, what, what are you depressed about? You can buy anything you want. I wish everyone in the world was rich so they would realize money isn't everything. It's not. It's not. It's not. My thing is you gotta kind of... Like Paul George, everybody agreed on that. Like, it's true. Like, you gotta... Like, you can't just think money is everything. Mm-hmm. Money's not everything. Like, there's people that's rich that commit suicide. Why? Feel me? Like so something real, else. Real. Yeah, still so, dealing with some demons. Yeah, my thing is, is like you gotta be comfortable in your own skin, and you gotta be able to, you know, like you want to leave your mark Everybody else outside of basketball. All right, so now, T Mark, we're gonna switch things up, man. If we're gonna get a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna let people know a little bit about yourself. Copy, copy. You know? I just want to. Oh, know you jumping right into us? Oh, so oh, go yeah, ahead. He just yeah, go, know. Yeah, go ahead. Can well, you go to my tournament and give a sneaker out to one of these? Yeah. Guys? Yeah, give me the information. I'll do it. Championship game. When is it? Tuesday. I'm there. I'll shake on it. I'm there. (laughs) I'm shake on it. So, uh, so I do better. I I give a couple pairs out. I just want it for the youth, though. Yeah. 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 See when 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 I let the people uptown kind of control it. It was random when I first did it. It was about the kids, only the kids. Nah, it's always about the kids. So, over here. so now since Gabby went ju- like he literally MJ over everything, you know. Copy. So everything is all over the place. So we just gonna take it from there. How did you get into that? Like well, giving back. Like like giving back, you know, because we was having a conversation. You know, a lot of people don't want to give back, and it doesn't necessarily mean giving back money. You know, it just time every time mm-hmm. and effort yeah, yeah, for so, sure. so how did um, you get into that uh, i'm gonna be honest with you bro like even since younger like i had friends that didn't have the luxury to have certain things yo can i hold this like you know in the hood can i hold this means nigga like can i have can it, i right? have it without yeah, you yeah. asking so like even from then like i didn't care like how my friends if they didn't have certain shit like if you could fit it and I got it and I could give it to you, I'm, I'm giving it to you. So I've always been like a given type of person. Even, you know, like one of my ex-girlfriends, her, you know, Flea and all that. You feel me? Like I had Flea drip. Like whatever Flea needed, I made sure he was good or whatever. Like, So I've always been that type of person, but I did something for the homeless people first. That was like the first like event. I did, and I planned, and I and had break, Nike help, and I had break, people break, help. Break, break down that, that event for, for the people a little bit. Uh, pretty much, bro. Like, you know, I wanted to do something for the homeless people. Um, What's it, 14th Street, 23rd Street, 34th, and 42nd Street. So we did, like, all the major the train stations with all the homeless people. people. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not going to lie, from that day on, bro, like, I had a whole different it's perspective, different. like, on life. Like, I seen kids out there. I seen somebody I grew up homeless. Like, like I grew up with this person. Like, crazy. Like, and, like, ever since then, I was like, yo, it's crazy. Like, and then, you know, like, being from the Bronx, and now nah, just being from New York or just the world in general, like kids really don't have like a positive role model like that, man. Like they see it on TV. That's cool. You know, they fans of certain people, but they're not really connected and they can't really physically see somebody like doing something in their com- community. So I just, I ain't gonna lie. I went to, uh, I don't know if you guys heard of Baby Dump. 
They yeah, do. yeah, yeah. They have the, uh, the little, the yeah, little course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of my days. boys was a part of it, and like he was um doing an event with them for like Christmas time. This Christmas had just passed. Um, and he asked me like, "Yo, would you want to help?" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Like he's like, "Yo, we'll put you on the fly." And I'm like, "Yo, you don't even got to do all that, but I help." They did it anyway, but it was just like doing the event. Like me, my man G Cole. Darvell, like we was just all there because you know I had them pop out. Like if it was my event, I'm like, yo, if I'm part of it, I'm gonna go 110. G Cole live in my building. Yeah, so I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go 110. So me and G Cole and DC, we all just said, I'm like, yo, I could do this. Like I could really do this. Like like we can do this. Like he's like, yeah, hell yeah. So <clears throat> after uh, that event in December with the kids, I gave out shoes, gave out like 50, 60 pairs of shoes to the kids for Christmas. Uh, That's fire. I gave out an Xbox One to the MVP. And the crazy thing is the MVP, the person I won the MVP with, the day was his birthday. So, so they made it Kyrie, fire. Ky I don't have Xbox. So mm -hmm. Kyrie, when he sent me the uh, 2K, he sent it for PS and Xbox. So I had to, uh, what's the name? Both. I had both. So I just gave him the, the 2K with the Xbox. I don't fuck with the Xbox and all that. So um, that, uh, I got somebody to donate a MacBook Pro. I gave it to the 16 and other MVP because I know they in high school and everything is pretty much yeah, computerized. Digital, computerized. You yeah. feel me? So like you got kids crying, like thanking you, like parents coming up to you. Like it was just like a good feeling. I'm like, you know what? Just I just want to, yeah, like I want to just keep doing this. I Even like if this. it's not, on the same scale or if it's on a bigger scale, like, you know? As long like, as you're giving back in some type of way. Exactly. Yeah. Like, even with the, when I went to Dykeman, Hoops in the Sun, Watson, like, giving shoes away, it's like, yo, listen, man, like, I was one, I was one of y'all, you feel me? I was running around, hooping, running around the hood and all that, like, so I just wanted to show them, like, there is somebody out here doing something positive, like, they see all of these superstars on TV or they see these people with a lot of Instagram followers and, you know, a lot of these kids, like, life is bigger than just a picture, bro. Like, I, you can take a picture with them, but... Way bigger than Instagram, man. You feel me? Like, life is bigger than Instagram and all that so. Listen, people like us, we understand that, but we also got to understand that we from the hood and everybody don't think like us, you feel me? So we fact. was just raised different and it just so happens that us and everybody that we have on this show was raised similar. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, for sure. if somebody don't got it and you got it, it's I'm not going to lie. If I wasn't yeah. hooping, I don't know where I would be, bro. That's like, the, honestly, that's like, AU and you and going to play with all of that, bro. like, that shit is, helped, is bro. That, you know, it's, it's funny you said that, T-Mar, because I was having this conversation with somebody. Because since now I box, but before I box, I played high school and college basketball but yeah. throughout that it gave me a structure yeah feel me like it gave me a structure it gave me a discipline listen, you know, listen you gotta, you're not passing can, two class like you failing two classes you can't play so like we fda drew fda you ain't have an 80 average each marking period that's a fact you couldn't play Nigga, we was, you had to sit they, out four games they was, push, was hey. they was pushing for us to be on honor roll and all that like nigga, i was dead on the honor roll in high school you went to rice Nah, I, I could have went to Rice, but at that time it was just too many people that was going there. So, it was, you know, like it was a little, it was a little, it was a little. It was a, I graduated in the way. Two years after. Yeah. So, like at that situation, it was just like it was Kimba, Fouch, uh, who else was there? It was, was there, right? Uh, uh, Dovell was there. Dovell was there. Cafelli, like it was a lot of people there, and they wanted us to play freshman over it. And at that time, like, nigga, playing time was crazy. I just, you know, like, yeah, like squad. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. I mean, I ended up finishing in uh, Edison Academy in Jersey. Like, that was probably. Oh, okay. You yeah, yeah, Edison. yeah, I went to Edison. I, I went there the year after Dama left. Dama, oh, okay, yeah, Dama okay, left okay, and okay. I was there. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, so but that's how, like, you know. But I knew all of them, like, I knew all of the Harlem people going to Five Star and all that, like, camps and all that, and then, you know, playing in certain tournaments in the city. So, I mean, 
relationship. Yeah, once you hoop, it's just freaking it's a unified. Yeah, for sure, you know, for sure, so man. What, what Damo are you talking about? Damo Jones. Yeah, yeah. went after he, he went plays tomorrow. He had left. Uh, Wait, in his spot. Okay. Once he was done with with Wiley, he had a couple went over there. I yeah. didn't even know that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Not know that. Yeah, he was there with uh my man That's Dominique, so uh Rutledge and uh Steve. Rollick Steve. Steve was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lefty no nigga, neck. Me, yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, me yeah, and yeah. Steve, nigga, we was, me and Steve was in the same fucking dorm room and all that. Yeah, yeah out there. So. Steve, good guy, man. But I ain't gonna lie, like that shit helped because you know, like just living on your own, like that shit is crazy. You really gotta figure shit out. I'm gonna eat. Something yeah, that's a fact. I was in Jersey, but I wanted to come home every weekend, nigga. And then it was like, yo, listen, all right, you, no more passes, man. You can't go back home. Like, the season started. It's over. But we had, you feel me? Like, that shit, that shit took me to another level because we had a top schedule, a national schedule. Like, we was playing against Oak Hill. Like, we played against uh, American Christian with Tyreek Evans. Played against Isaiah Thomas Jr. Like, so shit like that is like, all right, nigga, played against Brandon Jennings and all that, and camps and everything. So, like, basketball is just like, yo. Like, That's just the gateway to everything. Yeah, but I feel like if social media was the way it is now, then. Oh, it'd be totally it'd be different, bro. It'd be it'd be different. Different. Niggas, bro. And even now, we be popping through. Bro. bro. I used to dance when I used bro. to shake a nigga. Bro. <laughs> Like I mean, I didn't, I didn't had a thirty ball on on niggas like Mike Colburn and ISC and all that. Like, and then getting ranked. That, I'm younger. Yo, so can I but we had Colby six again? niggas. Nah, let me say my. Like, we played against Mount Vernon after they won their state championship in ISC. Look, and listen, thirty ball. I just want to say this one time. I know you don't want me to, but I'm gonna say it. UDC, you remember UDC? Yeah, hell yeah, nigga, yeah. uptown. Yeah, uh, that's you know, where Agricola's I mean, first dunk at. I, mean, I played with Gauchos up. I played up because my high school coach. So you got there the time that they kicked me out the game. You played with Edgar on them? I played with Gauchos, but I played up. I was younger, but I played He's up. He's younger than I'm saying. I know, but he said he played up. And yeah, up is Edgar I play, and I, and yeah, I played with, I played with, um, I played with um, Coach Mike. And Gauchos. Right. But in UDC, I played against Gauchos, and I was second league scorer in, in front of Mike Colburn. Okay. He was number three. I'm just gassed about that. It's something that I'm proud of when I was younger. Because yeah, no. I'm washed up right now. <laughs> I mean, my <laughs> thing is, I didn't, like, my thing is, like, Mike was, Mike was strong, but he I didn't think shoot. he was that good. He couldn't shoot. I didn't think he was that good. That right. boy could not shoot the rock if like, you paid him a meal to shoot the fly. rock. And they had Jonathan Mitchell. Yeah, he was Left good. Jonathan yeah, Mitchell was tough. Was a different he, he was, was tough. Different. Jonathan Mitchell was tough. Jay Mitchell was like, tough. I remember seeing Piff. I'm a sophomore. We go to Glen Falls. I seen Piff and all that. She had the uh, all-star LeBron threes and all that. Man, like, I, like shit like that, I don't forget. Like, it's crazy. I, I, like, being in Glen Falls with Rice. But egging on, they playing like I seen all that. I was That's around that, so that shit was fire. I think I saw the first time I saw Piff. I think it was my junior year. I think it was for us to go to like the elite, to elite eight or something like that. Yeah, she's she was, different, she, she man. Was just different, like, she, she, the way she played, like I was like, like she honestly, like at that time, she could have played with the guys, That's bro, what I literally said. for sure. So, yeah, like, it it was guys. too easy, like it was really too she easy, got, like Tina Charles, like it was she, too easy for certain females, she bro. Two Charles, like, oh, yeah, it was just too easy for certain Nigga answer, she was. She was jumping a hundred on these chicks. She was jumping a hundred on like a hundred on bitches. Like, that was go, throw on balls with the niggas, man. Yeah. Like, take off the girls' scene. Like, once you do shit like that, like, Drew. it's like, why play with, why play with these people? It's a fact. Brother T. Marcus, you um been talking about giving a lot of footwear away. Um, yeah, and it's other things, but footwear. Yeah, most footwear, yeah. but, you know, I, I wanted, people are. I wanted to, dive in on that because you're known in the community for having a pretty um decent collection I, you're decent, being modest decent, decent. You're being but, modest. but, but a up? pretty crazy sneaker collection you're a part of the footwear culture so i wanted to get into what got you into collecting sneakers 
Uh, I was kind of like born into it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I got two older brothers, so my mother kind of spoiled us. So whenever they got shoes, I got shoes. And, you know, throughout the years, I was learning more about it. Like I, my oldest brother is into Jordan. So okay. like any Jordan aspect, he was getting it. And my middle brother, my older brother, he was into like Jordan's a little bit, but more into phones, flight posits, okay. and Tim Duncan's. And so like Nike up, basketball yeah, signature exactly, stuff. Exactly, okay. exactly. So like just growing up, like just the love of shoes. Like I remember when me and Kimba used to just go to big sports and want to get some shoes. But at that time, it was just like we was hooping and everything, like everything that we was, getting, was finishing, like cooking, like. So you, you, your first introduction to really like getting into different sneakers is because you was hooping. Pretty much, okay. yeah, 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 pretty much. But more, more so my brothers because okay. I didn't, you know, whatever my mother was getting us, but she, they kind of like, you know, steered her in the right direction. Mm -hmm. see, like, mm -hmm. like if they was into like Shaq's and all that, that's what I probably would have had. Some but Shaq's. they wasn't yeah. into that. It was it's into nice. Jordan and okay. Nike and stuff, so like that. So. That's pretty much what stayed, and then you know, like when you grow up, you go to junior high school, you go to high school. Now you starting Watch to develop mm -hmm. your own your own taste, taste. exactly. Okay. So like when I started buying my own sneakers, I kind of had to like, yo, listen, I can't be, be hooping cooking. and everything, and I don't have nothing to wear. Yeah. So it was like I, you know, I would get help from my grandmother, grandfather, my mom, or whatever, whoever was helping me, and then. I'll be saving my money trying to get something like, oh, let me put some money to the side. These things like I remember the first shoe I bought with my own money was a LeBron. I was actually twenty five five. I was actually gonna mm, ask you that. Just all gonna, black pair. What was your, what was and your, I hooked in them shits in Watson Unlimited. Was fourteen years old. Disrespecting them. Yeah. Facts. Like I, I was I went straight to BX Sports up the block, bought them shits and came right to Watson and played. So at, what, five five. so at what age you started at what age you started like kind of like realizing i know you had said that you started like not trying to like cook all your cakes yeah like but when did you start realizing like all right these might be gems let me you know keep these in the stash you know, i ain't gonna lie probably high school like niggas like you to. i mean i'm almost for sure everybody in here has been in a project apartment yeah. Max. Like you know it's the radiator, you got your bed, like the space is, is not a it's lot limited. of space. It's limited, limited space. Exactly. Like I remember I used to flip my bed a certain way to have like a wall of sneakers. Like, you feel me? Like just to have that wall, because that was like something I always like, oh, I'm gonna get a wall. And then, you know, a wall became Another oh, storage, yeah. And then it's storage, then it became a room. Like, it shit just got... I mean, it's a addiction, but I always tell people it's a good addiction because mm, at any given moment, I could sell. It's an asset. Yeah, you feel me? It is an asset. Like, it is an asset. Like, you know, like, it's more of a... Investment. It's more of an investment. Where it's like, I, if I wanted to pass it down to my son, you feel me? Or... If I wanted to go sell it for something like that, you know you got Yeah, you know, like you, well, you could especially if you're not like paying crazy rate on like a lot of shoes and you're getting them retail, you could wear them and make more than what you pay for them. You feel me? So like certain shoes is like that, not all shoes, but certain shoes. But like at what I mean high school, college, all throughout my twenties, I was a sneakerhead too. Okay. I feel still like I'm I am, but from like 16 to 29, I was spending all of my disposable income on on sneakers. Like my family had to do interventions. Yeah. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was, no, and I'm not talking hey, about so, like so dirt. What, what was the most you spent on a shoe? You think? I was just about to ask you that. What shoe? So 2009, okay. all the easy ones came up. Okay. This is kind of Oh, no, it wasn't really going know. for the rape rate, though. No, no. So the most I spent, I I have, I still have this pair, the black and pink easy ones. Yeah. I, I spent 500 Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. 
No, but the, the thing is, I'm not from here. I'm from Boston. Okay. Cool. So, so back home, like I grew up with the dudes at Concepts. You know what's my favorite shoe? So they took care of Boston. The the lobster. Uh, Kennedy. The uh, Kennedy New Balance. New Balance. Okay. Uh, no, no. I just spoke to Dion last week. Fire. I still have the. You still have yours. Okay. And I bought the. You got the reboot. My favorite red. sneakers yeah. is the black and white pair of leathers. Ain't nothing. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very shoe, old time, black cement three. Yeah, you can't go wrong. But you that. mentioned yeah. that me. My favorite childhood shoe is different though. What, what was that? that? Uh, the Nike Penny Three. You got me stuck. The Penny Three. Okay. My, and the only reason why that was my favorite shoe because back in the days. Gray school shoes and men's shoes did not look the same at all. Like. So the Penny Three was pretty much identical to mm -hmm. the men's pair, and I always wanted phone posits back then, but I didn't wear the size. I was wearing like a four, and I remember East Bay uh, used to go East to like a magazine. six or Yo, six East and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a six or six and a half. And was six and a half was the smallest size in East Bay. That was the only place. And I was wearing a four, four and a half. So that was like even the Tim Duncan's was different back then for grade school. It was like it, that it, soul yeah, posit. It was always different. So that pair had the actual foam posit on the side. So that's why that's my favorite. Childhood so I, I wanted to ask you something else. I like the seven because it came okay, with a okay. suitcase. Actually, mine was uh my favorite was the flight gold gold ones. The green I, ones, the I, green I, ones. The, no, it was the green no. one joints. Yeah, with the zip. Green goblins. Those man, green Rob goblins. Rob the, the mayor. Him and his brother. The real, 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 real. I still got them shits But the reason I couldn't get them at that time because them niggas only made it like an eight yeah, or a nine yeah, or whatever. Facts, and I was a freaking six and a half, yo. Facts. I was going crazy, but then, and also uh, the black, white, uh, white, red pippins, the, the swirly joints. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, I still got with that pill, too. Yo, yo, not the OG, get, but the oh. one that re-read. You not, got, not you got, re -re, but you the, got the kids army drug. fatigue joints? Nah, man. Nah. I mean, with me, like, especially with Nike basketball, like, I kind of, not too picky, but, like, you like what you like. Yeah, like, I got to really like it for me to get it. But well, one thing I also like about you is not, you're just not into, like, one pair. Like, I just don't like Jordan. It's like, you, it's it seems variety. like you got, yeah, a variety of, like, yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I like Kyrie's. I'm into Kyrie. Right now, at 30 years old, I love Kyrie's, bro. Like, they come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even saying that because them shits get shipped. To Andrew, me. affordable. But, we was talking about it, right? Kyrie's. You forever. Yeah. Yo, you know, I'm not a. He got a I got you. I got you. <laughs> let me just. <laughs> you gotta let the rookie get a question out, my G. I, I know. He's gonna get his question out, that's for sure. Let me just. So he it. waited for a sneakers on me. I know. But listen, I'm here to answer all I'm the not, questions. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I ain't into the like, sneaker, the like, whole shit. I'd rather go eat food with my money than buy right, sneakers. That's cool. So, that's just me. I look skinny, but I eat good. But I love Kyrie's. It's just something about Kyrie's. You can wear them and wear them, and they just don't go to waste. Like, yeah. the bottom stays fresh. Yeah. The size stays durable. fresh. Very it's durable. It's very durable. Like, is there like a secret that the Kyrie's got that every other sneaker don't got? Cause I I like LeBron's too, but LeBron's get wasted a little bit faster than Kyrie. You feel me? I just I don't know like Kyrie's, and then I wear a size seven still. So oh shit! I'm Gucci part of fence. You feel me? <laughs> I just really don't care about what I'm wearing. Like a person could tell me, "Yo, you're not supposed to wear black sneakers and white socks." In my opinion, I don't give a fuck. Uh, Needs is popping right now. Know, Dude, holy man. damn. Yo, listen. I want to have a chicken race, man. <laughs> this nigga nah, actually. Yo. Hey, let, let this nigga be out there dissecting the sneakers. Like he was in the factory. <laughs> he he knows about sneakers. He was so not he, in China. Man. I he feel was you, out but there the he China. wears sneakers, so he yeah. knows if a sneaker will like you know the bottom how they waste fast. Yeah. He will know that already, bro. I'm telling you, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> Rook, Rook, ask, ask the question. Because the like, Jordans that I'm going to have is Haraka, my nigga. Well. Let me, let me talk this trash. Yeah, I'm going to talk this trash. All right, so. The rookie. If there's any artist that right now that you want to collab on a sneaker, or 
who would it be? Jay Z. Uh, artist. Jay Z. What is the fact, though? Wait, wait, wait. And what my is bad. the secret that, 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 that you would like them to do with the last one? Hold on, hold on. What he said? What was the last one? I said, I said, who is the artist that you desire to collab on a sneaker? And what sneaker would you like the artist to collab on? It was an artist. Is, does it have to be somebody that a rapper, that a rapper doesn't, that doesn't have a collab at all? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, or it could be somebody. Oh, that's, 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 that's good. I was about to say, Kanye you go back to Nike? Shit. Yeah. But you know, um, yeah. Let me see. Uh, the Nike is the best. If there was an artist, if there was an artist right now, uh, probably Wale. Like mm. he didn't have like like he had a he, light collab. He did some stuff with, with A6, with A6 yeah, yeah. but I would want him to do a Nike. I, I don't think it'll sell though, yo. You don't yeah, think so? it'll sell? All right, but I, don't think it'll sell. But I think his vision. That, that his wasn't vision, the question. Though. His vision. I I think he would come up with a dope. Stop him. Dope shoe. Like, like Gabby just cares about the bottom, so that's it. Like, yo, because I wear my nigga. sneakers a lot. Like not him do a phone posit though. Uh, nah, but that's a DC wait, thing though. Yeah, no, 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 I know that. But what I'm saying is like his vision, like, like, especially with artists, like Wale was ahead of his time, bro. He was a big sneakerhead too. Like, still, he still was. Yeah, a big yeah, like, like at that at that time and that peak, like that's the era that that was one of my favorite eras, like fashion wise, like mm -hmm. especially with artists. Because even when before Big Sean signed with Adidas, like Big Sean used to get busy, like. You could go back. Him and Cool Grade Four was great. Nike Tough from is. 06, like infrared sixes, like so like you feel me? Like that era you had uh him, you had Stally, you had Wale, you had um Currency. Currency. You, you feel me? Like niggas was getting busy at that era. I feel like the game is fucked up because now you got all these rappers signing the shoot deals and that nigga. Nah, that lifestyle deal is keeping you trapped. But that's that what I'm saying. Trap you. But that's why the like Rocky. Like, the shit fucked up and now when the camera's on, they gotta wear a certain type of shoes versus to what they will really wear. Not tell you want the bag, bro. They want the bag. I'll probably that's, say why I, I, I mean, I mean not I, do same, bag. I do the same shit. Yo, yo, you know, you're out there throwing enough money at you, bro. Yeah. That's shoe her. Yo, why they shoe game swaggy though? But I would want to see him do something with the Jordan off. three. They're they not wearing that shit. I feel like there's I something. Think not that shit again. I think I think the Jordan three they didn't reach the surface on what they can do. Like colorways would be it's a hit and miss with Jordan three. But he don't let nobody touch that one, yo. That's a fact. Like I feel like Jordan threes when they good luck they do something good. Like it can yo. be like iconic, but yeah. so they put it. so many bad colorways on Jordan so Three. Let me ask you this: So, so you think like Nike and Jordan brand hire more niggas like me and you? They won't. What you think that'll do to their brands? Oh, uh, like what? More grassroots people, uh, like people yeah, that's yeah. into the culture, like that. Do that'll put out the fire colorways that these. But they I mean, my thing is, but this is the thing. Just because it's fire to us, don't mean it's gonna be fire to a million people. Yeah. I'm not saying that it won't be, but what I'm saying is, you gotta think of the mass. You gotta think of the mass. The, like, mass? You can't the hood too bothered though, bro. But yeah. you gotta think. Like, you gotta think about that little white kid that wants them too. Yeah. But if you know, if you know black and Spanish but, but people wear that shit, niggas a cop. How many times you walk in, you put some own shit together, it don't matter whoever designed it, you put a fit together and you walk in the block and Couple little niggas stop and be like, yo, bro, that shit fire. It fit fire. See, the thing is like, with that, that's true. Like, but the like thing is, that you see, got. but his, 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 the that's the easy part coming up with colorways. Like, yeah, like a nigga different. like us, we can't. Like, how would you market it? You a nigga out. like, nah, I'm not saying it, but a nigga like us, how how do you market to the market. even design it? Like, what happened if Jordan said, "I right, will give you a retro. We'll let you do a retro." But we need you to design something new, like the Don C. I did that. Yo, I think those are trash. No, no, I, I, I was like, just saying, but, trash. but what I'm saying I, is, trash is but, all time. but, but I what I'm you. saying is, I see where you're going with it. Like, like, like all right, so here's Khaled. Let's, let's throw it out there. Here's Khaled. He's not a real sneakerhead. Nah, I know, but no. they gave Khaled he just has money. Grateful Threes, right? Mm -hmm. People don't him. even talk about the Flight 89 pill. Grateful pill, like nobody even right. talks about that. So hold on. you just you just mentioned that. So what to you is like what is the definition of a sneaker? Okay, so what is gonna, the definition of a sneaker? Let me answer. Let me answer you. I don't even want to be. 
like a, a part of like that that label like you don't want to put in that box okay. nah because I, I just feel like, like I like sneakers there's more there's more it's to more me to yeah. like uh, than just sneakers like I feel like a so, big you know like that complements the sneakers like yeah. I don't I know niggas that wear awful like all these sneakerhead niggas that 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 claim it yeah. awful fits it just buy his sneakers yeah. like nah I don't, that's like I'm into clothes just as well as I'm into sneakers, sneakers too so I, 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 I want to answer no, listen but, I wear these every day and these shit is still fresh my nigga the bottom the, the bottom <laughs> let, let me answer the question yeah. 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 this is a new glass yo that's yeah, some respect that. Copy. You want to answer Rook's question? Yeah, what about the dusty shits? So you mentioned Wale, yeah. right? Oh, Wale cool. was a dude that was copping fire kicks, no fire. investing in his fresh before he had money. That's a fact. Trinidad Did James too. Him, I'm kind of on the fence. No, 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 no. He, 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 he camped out. He still got heat to his Khaled. Nah, Khaled. Khaled. It's when he got money. They he's a them. he's a great marketer. He Mark got them. money, so now it's like I have disposable income. I'm rich. I'm gonna just go to flight but, club and buy three hundred pairs but, of sneakers. But to 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 uh you know piggyback on that, Cal was around Terror Squad. Yeah, he was, he was, he was around Fat Joe. He been Joe, around for a long Joe, time. Joe, Joe was top, top, top three. three. So he got two. Fat he Joe, got Fat Joe, but not Khaled. Hey, but what I'm saying is, you don't think niggas. But we don't know that though. We game. don't know that, beloved, because he was there. We I don't think around. so. He was around. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't know I mean, I don't know. Like my thing is, you become a sponge. We really can't. Like, like I see what you're saying, and I feel like social media plays a big part on that. Now it do. Because niggas knew I was into sneakers outside, like before Instagram even existed. Yeah. You feel me? Like, no, I, I we, just don't that story. we just don't even know, like, what Cal was doing then. Like, I mean, I can't answer it because I, I truly don't know. But right now, he, he's doing good. He's doing I'm, good. I'm, not, I'm not knocking him. He got some shit. But like, if you tell me who you respect more, why they I respect my thing is, This is the thing, like, when you have money, you can buy. You, nah, I don't want to say you can buy anything. Because there's certain shit where you just can't find, bro. Or a nigga just not willing to sell it. Like Stewie Griffin, yeah. LeBron Sixes, bro. Yeah. You're not finding those. Like, you not Niggas finding don't know what those look You're like. not going on sir, eBay sir, saying, yo, Stewie like Griffin, bro, LeBron thing. Sixes. You're just not seeing them. You can't go on StockX and these apps mm -hmm. and uh, somebody's just listing them. Like, like the Freddy, like the Freddy Cougar. Um, um, as bees. But the now you can find those. those. Can find There's those. a lot of fakes of those. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. A lot thing. of bad pairs of those. Why I love Kyrie's? Because you find Kyrie's everywhere. It don't even matter what kind nah, of Not all of them. Not all of them. Kyrie's not that all you've of them. in your life. You're going to be like, hold yeah, on. Yeah, that's what you plugged up. Hold on. I ain't looking for those. I ain't looking for it. I don't care. I'm looking for Kyrie. You feel If I'm not looking for it, I'm not looking for it. I can show you some shit you've never seen in your life. See? Like, oh, oh. What's yeah, it? sample Jones. Oh, see? Yeah, see? But yo, you see, why you got disrespect? I know, I know, there's a couple, you got a couple things nah, that I hate you for. Wow, what's up? What, 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 what you I hate got, me uh, for? There's no hate in the man. Yeah. This is about positive energy. Two mil brown threes. Horsemen. Four horsemen, 25 fives. And you got the the white shits, the white shits with the blue straps too. This shit we have. The LeBron right? Fours? Yeah. The, the, uh, the, uh, the Zooms. Oh, the 25 Fives. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, that you shit know, is like. Boys, so I'm know. not gonna lie, growing up in the Bronx and Harlem, bro, Nike, LeBron Soldiers was it. Like, yeah. niggas was fucking with Soldiers yeah. before they was fucking with the signature yeah. shoes. Facts. No. 25 and five, five soldier things. one, soldier two, soldier and three. Great shit. I like, if you was from, like, Niggas would wear them shits with a fit and go hooping them shits and clean them up a little bit and wear them with another fit. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, so I remember those days. Like, I remember when the LeBron Zoom Generations first came out and them shits was on sale. Seventy nine ninety nine. Seventy nine ninety nine. I remember when VX Sports was selling three colorways for a hundred dollars. Man, get this shit's out of here. So like, certain stuff like that, bro. Like, you just. 
and I see how it is now, and I so crazy for it now. I was a kid saying, you know, like this shit is crazy, like how you see it now, like niggas go crazy for Travis Scott Air Force Ones and Travis Scott Four. Yeezy. Yeezy, the D to Yeezy. What do you feel about the culture right now in comparison to how we came up? I mean, my world. thing is, it, see, the only difference I feel like these kids are not gonna be able to tell a story. They're not gonna be able to tell a story. Like how I'm bringing up LeBron, 25, mm -hmm. like, there's not gonna be a story to tell, like, because they don't know, they don't all that and all these apps and all that, like, there's just more of a transaction now. It's not like a, yo, I went to this store, you know, you feel me? Like, they didn't have they to had, hunt. had these shits in here, da, 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 like, yo, that was crazy. Like, you they that can't. Eight? Yeah. You, know, you remember the battleground? All for silver lock up, thing? For lock up, for, yo, battleground? for lock up for the silver eights, there was a line around the corner. Yo, yo, the gold I skipped yeah. everybody. Yeah. 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 Jones? That's a yeah. unique yeah. 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 I skipped over saying. a thousand like, people. Like, like how you <laughs> said East Bay. But they ain't gonna have that. Yeah. But they yeah. oh, we had stock Yo, the crazy shit when no shit like that was coming out. You feel me? Like, He's they been going in the store just it was in no lines. Yo, there was no yo, line. Yo, like, yo you, you remember know, you remember when East Bay like, had all of the flight pauses? The white ones, the T B ones, the everything. The, the color of yeah. But had the Allen that Houston was, colorway, like the shit. Back then, Houston. It was yo, yo, back then niggas wasn't waiting on the line. Niggas was just going there. The old Navy and white white posits. Nah, nah, niggas was making lines though. Nah, nah, not crazy. back then. That's when people nah, said that hey, you can have like, you. Like sneakers. This is when I'm, you can go to the mom and pop stores, yeah. and spend twenty five dollars more and get them shit two weeks early. Yeah, yeah, now you gotta spend yeah, this one Nah, but you know used to have the old vintage shit. They still do. The kids do. Nigga, yeah. they, they was like that too. I swung to my grandmother. To and Fame and NYC to got the best kids right now. That was on facts. Before Get Christmas, the, I knew they were going to sell out. I knew nobody was going to go out and get them. So I said, right. Grandma, I can, we can get them right now for like $25, $30 extra. Mm -hmm. She got them. Like the mom pops those eight man to wait. Yeah. That's the thing, like we like we got stories. They're not mm -hmm. gonna be able to tell that many stories. Yeah. Like, okay. Never. I think that's so I, I gotta tell you my easy two story though. Easy <laughs> two which color? Uh black and pink. Because uh, you know that, uh, that solo. That oh, color oh, came on oh, the oh, East Coast. Easy one? Oh yeah. And then the and then that gray came out on the the platinum came out on the west. On the west coast. But twenty one Mercer had both. They had both. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. living here yet. Okay. So, um, 2012. Yeah. Was it? 2012, yep. Um, in June. This, this was June, the June, June, 9th. June 9th, I think, or 11th, or something like that. Yeah, it was June. So, this was the now first. You know why I know? Because the, the South Beach LeBron Nines came out the week before. I think those are the best sneakers ever made. No, eight, not the so nines. Eight, eight, eight. The eights. The eights. Like eight. eight. But the seven. I'm on LeBron's seven. Yes. My man. The first one. Yeah, LeBron yeah. yeah. is the, the best of all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know too much about sevens. I don't know. I don't know. You got to know those. I don't know. It's a little thing, bro. This was the first time I participated in the Foot Locker raffle. On 34th Street? Nah, they, they. They made me go to um, Harlem, 125th. No, all right. You, want, you did the raffle at 125th? No, 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 I went online. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, so I, the, the night before, okay. I got an email. My you know they were supposed to do first come, first serve, right? And then they ended up fighting, and they just, that was the first time they did, like, raffles. The rap yeah. So I got an email the night before. He was hyped. I, I took the Chinese bus. He was hyped. <laughs> came to New York. Was you hyped? I, I, I really wasn't sure what to expect. But you was hyped. Were you happy? I was hyped. I was hyped. Yeah, I was going to bus. I was going to a jump on a bus, bro. You could have lost your life when you got a bus. Yo, real talk, Jenny, yo. Them niggas always crashing. Right now, it's smoking on my stories. I never jumped on the bus nowhere. So I ain't gonna lie to you, but I got a better, I got a better easy two story than that. So I I took the Chinese bus. I had a, my cousin Dro was living on 115th. Okay. So I said, yo, you know, I don't live here, but I need come to with me. Yeah, I need you to. So we took a dollar cab. I said, yo, keep the cab running. Yeah. I went in there. I cop. Yeah. People were like trying to buy off me. Yeah, I said, yo, it. I don't. Nah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Killed out. Still have them. Still have. I wore them. I wore them to his wedding. That's fire, bro. Like four years later. Fire. So six months after that, I ended up moving there. 
So for me, that was like, yo, I think I need to be in New York City because yeah. I couldn't even get yeah. my Yeezys back home. So my easy story was, we was out there, we were supposed to give them, they were supposed to give out tickets, and they ended up fighting a house, the new house of hoops on 34th Street. Okay. So they shut it down, like they shut it down, they started doing raffles, whatever. So at this time I was working in GBs in Queens. I was working in GBs in Queens and we got them shits in. Like we got 30, it was like 36 pairs in, but it was like four, three stores. You had to divide it into like, so the Jamaica app store was like the store that was making the most money. So mm -hmm. they put more pairs there over there than they put in the other store. So Jim Jones and all these niggas is calling. Everybody's calling. That's GB and what? Yeah, so these niggas is calling. Like, yeah, like, you know, we got them Yeezys and I'm watching my boys like a lot of these niggas. I'm like, oh yeah, this is about to be dope for these shits. Okay. So he gives Jim and them niggas everything because Jim was putting product in the store. Mm -hmm. Jim kind of like, now he owns like, we got like some like, some yeah, equity in the store. You got equity in the store. You've been doing so. that since they started. Exactly. Though. So when I seen that, I say, yo, man, this shit's about to be a slow situation. So I'm talking to my man. He's like, yo, we should try to extort them niggas. I'm like, what you mean, bro? He like, nah, like I'm about to say yo, my aunt, I'm about to run in there, say my aunt worked for Nike, da da da, because these niggas was making it seem like they didn't have them at all. But in reality, they were stashing them. Like, exactly. Like, no, they were stashing them shit so they could sell them for the high. They were trying to sell them for the high. So my man's like, yo, just find out how many pairs they got. So I'm like, you feel me? They try, I'm in the system. I'm like, yeah, niggas got 20 pairs in here, bro. What's up? I'm like, nigga, you're not going to come in here and all that. So it was a day I was off. The nigga called me, act like he was talking like to his aunt and all that. He's like, yo, just go with the conversation. So the nigga, I hear the nigga barking on him, bro, barking on him. He's like, yo, if y'all don't sell me, that's better. Nah, I'm gonna get y'all account closed, all that. Like, he's wild, and I'm like, bro, this nigga's really not doing this right now. Yo, the nigga sold that nigga 10 pairs of them shits, bro, for retail. <laughs> and he gave me them shits for oh. free, my nigga. Yeah, that's definitely beats that story. That definitely beats that story. Beats that story. Beats that story. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I told a lot of people that story, that's bro. That's a great way to finish. But this. I'm like, you yo, said it on the Hate Now podcast. That's you a fact. gotta hear it first. That's a fact. Yo, listen, that's a great way to finish. Yo, no, that's, that's a, a slam dunk right there. Wait, but before uh we we end the episode, can you talk a little bit about uh what you got going on this Saturday? All right, this Saturday I'm doing a give back. Uh, Pretty much is gonna be a tournament. I'm adding something new to it for like the kids that's like 12 and under. Like if you're 13, 14, you out there, I'm not gonna tell you no, but I'm doing like a training for the kids. I got like some of the top trainers in New York City that's coming out. That's gonna be training the kids, doing basketball drills with them. Um, and after that, we're doing a tournament, doing uh, raffles for sneakers throughout the day. Uh, Big Sports is gonna give out uh, they're gonna do like a one dollar raffle for like Kobe's that the Kobe's that just dropped the Pro Tro pair, uh, the seventies Kyrie uh, Fords. They're doing a dollar raffle. Um, they're gonna be giving out gift cards, so you can like we don't have your size. They'll give you a gift card. You go in the store, mm -hmm. spend it, or whatever like that. Uh, I think the gift cards they're gonna give out for free, maybe like the MVPs or something of the tournament. But um. Yeah, pretty much, man. Just doing something positive in the Bronx, like...